calendar says that it's spring, and these nice mornings and warm afternoons certainly seem to echo that particular thought. But let's remember that what our cows are out on, if they're on one of these warm season pastures, such as native or Bermuda grass, that grass is still dormant. And it's very low in quality, very low in protein, very low in energy. And it's extremely important that we remember that we don't want these cows to lose body condition between calving and the start of the upcoming breeding season. Research was done here at Oklahoma State University that clearly illustrated that point. You see, what they looked at was a, a set of cows that they had fed to be in about a body condition score of a midpoint five. Decent body condition at the time of calving. Half of the cows were fed to maintain that body condition until the breeding season was well underway. The other half of the cows were allowed to lose enough weight and body condition to where they dropped one full body condition score going into the breeding season. As they followed those cows through that breeding season, what they found was quite a difference in the pregnancy rates when they checked them the, the next fall. The cows that maintained body condition through the breeding season rebred at a very nice 94% clip. Whereas those that were allowed to lose one full score between calving and the start of the breeding season rebred at 73% or a 21% calf crop loss. So I think it's extremely important that we continue to make sure that there's plenty of energy and protein in front of these cows, even though the grass is not providing it, that we've got good enough quality hay and some energy supplement available for those cows through the rest of March and April until these grasses come on strong enough to provide the energy and protein that the cows need. I realize that feed is expensive, but it's certainly going to be a lot more expensive to lose 21% of a calf crop at a time when calf prices are still rather strong. So let's maintain body condition on these cows between calving and start of the breeding season and get that higher breed up next fall when we check them and certainly it'll help our bottom line. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner.